Hello, everybody, and welcome to, uh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, no. All right, guys, so yeah, that happened. Uh, we have a fresh install of Windows. And today's tutorial will be on how to install Alta Launcher and a Township Tail, I guess. Um, I was going to say a Township Tail, but we're actually installing Alta Launcher first and then a Township Tail. So, I definitely uh, might have recorded this whole tutorial with the wrong mic, but um, to sum everything up of what's been going on, I have been working on a lot of projects. And then I had my computer's main drive corrupt on me. So it's sitting on my desk because I'm worried about what I'm gonna do to get my data back because I lost those projects and uh, some other stuff like private Minecraft worlds and stuff like that, um, personal photos. But we are back now. It's taken long enough for me to figure out what was wrong and fail to fix it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still getting set up, but that means that it's a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys how to install a township tail, except I did the tutorial with the wrong mic, so we're going to do it again. So I'm going to start by uninstalling everything, and this is where we're going to go to install it. So you go here, right? You would not go here, actually. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Let's say you guys don't know where to go. I mean, you could you could look at this URL. This is one way to go. You could go to townshiptail.com slash download. That is the only place. Don't go to any other link that looks similar. That's the only place you would go. Or, let's say we, we don't know that because we didn't watch that part of the video. We skipped to right here. This is the part that you skipped to. Let's go. Um, let's say you just go to the discord you'd go to getting started in the township tail discord and you'd go to download here and This is all you need this stuff tells you how to find servers and this Supporter and yeah, don't worry about all that I mean you could probably link your township tail account with discord So if you're a supporter, but you don't have access to the supporter uh, sneak peeks This would be why but we're here for the actual download of the game so you click on that link it brings you to here which is townshiptail.com slash download not a township tale it's just townshiptail.com slash download and you'll click on the download now button it'll download this here and you are going to just click on it once it's done okay and we already had it installed, so this is going to basically also install it. Um, yeah, and once you install a township tail, it won't bring you here. Let's log out. This is what will happen. You'll get to this page here, and then you'll log in. So you all know my name. You all know me as the Liquid Squid 73 and then what you guys don't get to know and I sometimes forget is my password. All right, and then you will log in. You have your reset password if you have an account on Quest but forgot the password or you can create an account if you're brand new to the game and you're trying to play on PC for the first time ever. You would create an account here or on the website you can sign up but i've got an account so i'm gonna log in and you will see right here it brings us here and says steam vr oculus it'll actually if it's your first time installing it'll bring up a window that asks you steam vr or oculus and you have to pick one um if you are an oculus user it doesn't matter and if you're a steam user it doesn't matter and it does but it doesn't and here's why so once you have that picked it'll bring you here and say install but you can always change it right and if you're an oculus user the one you use will almost always not matter so if you got a quest 2 and you finally got a computer and you want to play it if you just want to play the game as a game 
you can click Oculus. That doesn't matter. If you don't have an Oculus headset, you have to use Steam. But if you're an Oculus user, you can use Steam VR, which I do. And the purpose for that is, let's say you want to use an overlay from Steam. Um, I have a video that I was working on and have to restart now, but it will actually utilize an overlay, so I have to use the Steam VR. But if you don't care about that and you just want to play the game, you could click Oculus if you have an Oculus headset. Anyways, you will click install. I'm going to start that now so we're not waiting. And while we're here, you can decide where you start every time that you launch the game. So if it's your first time, maybe click a tutorial tail. I think it'll also bring you there or you'll go to the main menu and you can select it from the public servers. But let's say me for example, I have my server, my personal server for the let's play. Um, I could just load into that instantly every time instead of going to the main menu and having to pick it. And I think I will. Um, yeah, look at that. I can do it right there. So now every time that I go there, like I open the game, it'll take me straight there. That doesn't mean I can't leave it and go back to the main menu. You can still do that. That just means that I'll always automatically load into my world. Um, so it'll be like I'm waking up from a nap, right? Uh, the other thing is, let's say you're a supporter and you want to play on one of the supporter test channels. You would come here to where it shows the version and you would click on supporter and it was switch. Now we're not doing that and it's installing right now so I'm going to wait. Um, but you will have to update to supporter if you are playing the supporter version. And I think when you go back to release, it'll do another update to basically reset it. So it changes your version because they're slightly different because there's stuff in one that isn't in the other. So yeah, that's how you'll change that. Um, once this is done, which it almost is, you will see a thing down here. This is how you'll access your um, screenshots, your install folder, all that. So now it says play. I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. Supporter says update, tells you what to do, but we're going to stay on release. Um, this here, installation options. Let's say you want to see your screenshots, right? Oh, I just took a screenshot in game. This is where you'll find it. So you'll click open screenshots. And if you have screenshots, this is where it'll be. If you don't have any screenshots, it'll say folder does not exist. Um, logs, you can move your install. So let's see, mine right now is on this drive, but if I wanted to move it to another drive, for example, I could just click that drive. We're gonna cancel that though. I've got it where I want it. If you're having problems where you launch the game and it's not working correctly, you can repair your install. So it'll try and fix it if there's a problem. And if you really want to, you can uninstall. So you can do all that here. But from here, you just click play and you would play the game as if you opened it on Quest 2 or if it's your first time playing, you'll just click play and that's when you'll enter the game. Um, we might do a video on new uh, or first interactions in the main menu or in the game. So how you'll start, where you'll go, probably the tutorial island and yeah, that, that might be a future video, but today it was just the install. Um, we won't be able to stream right away and we might not be able to do some recording for a little while because I have lost everything. So I just, un or I reinstalled some of this stuff, but like I reinstalled Streamlabs, but it doesn't bring back all of the stuff I had. So all the pictures and stuff I had for the starting soon and BRB, those will have to uh, get replaced. But that was part of a project I had in mind. I just have to start from scratch there. So streams will have to wait. Um, videos are obviously a little late. This one's as soon as I can get it out because I'm kind of behind, honestly. Um, but yeah, we're working on it. Uh, we're working really hard on it. So. 
hopefully this was helpful to those of you that have never installed or or never have played a Township Tale or have gotten a PC and you already had it on Quest 2. PC version is free so if you're looking at a Township Tale and you're trying to decide which one to get if you have a computer that can handle it and you have a headset the PC version is free. The Quest 2 version does cost money but the Quest 2 version comes with Talums and the server whereas the PC version your server if you want your own private one costs a supporter roll which is $10 a month or you can get a $10 supporter roll and then cancel it after the first month but I'm still paying for mine because Talums. In fact, you can go to the store from here. Check that out. Look at all those cosmetics. Look at all those Talums that don't show up. There they are. Look at that. But anyways guys, hopefully this was helpful. Let me know what else you want to see. Like I said, I'm, I have a overlay um, that I wanted to show off in a video soon. So I'll show you how to install that and do that. And then um, I guess there's a few other tutorials I was working on that I have to start fresh, but um, I guess I've gotten my practice, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good day. Uh, hopefully this helped, and if not, well, good luck.